A trolley takes us along the waterfront from downtown Lisbon to the Belém district, a stately pincushion of important sites from the days when Portugal was Europe's richest power. Belém survived the big earthquake. Because of that, Portugal's suddenly safety conscious and rattled royalty chose to live out here, under wooden rather than stone buildings. To this day, Portugal's royal palace stands behind these walls. The adjacent royal stables now house one of Europe's top coach museums. In 1905, the last queen of Portugal realized that cars would soon make horse-drawn carriages obsolete. She decided to preserve her fine collection of royal coaches here. The museum shows 70 dazzling carriages in the queen's elegant old riding room. The oldest is the crude and simple coach used by King Philip II to shuttle between Madrid and Lisbon in around 1600. This coach had no driver's seat. Its drivers would actually ride the horses. With bad roads and crude leather strap suspension, the ride was slow and rough. You'll have to trust me on this, but if you lift up the cushion, you'll find a potty hole, also handy for road sickness. Tracing the evolution of coaches through the next century, you'll notice the decoration evolves along with the comfort. The Portuguese coat of arms indicates this carriage was part of the royal fleet. The ornamentation includes a folk festival of exotic faces from Portugal's distant colonies. The lumbering ocean coach is as ornate as it is long. At the stern, gold figures symbolizing the Atlantic and Indian oceans holding hands reminded all of Portugal's mastery of the sea.